What's up guys, Peter Pinto from the Fit Labs here. I hope you're having an awesome Friday. I uh, want to start off and just say thank you to all of you who watched my video and subscribed and commented. It was awesome. And this is episode two. It was a pretty exciting week here at the Fit Labs. I had Bristol on here cracking pads for a little bit. And for those who do not know, Bristol Marundi was a quarter finalist in season 16 of The Tough Show, The Ultimate Fighter. And that's my boy. So I shot a little video of me holding pads for Bristol and I'll put that link in the description below. Oh yeah, and uh, this happened. Anyway, so last week when I started the vlog, I was already about a one week into my training regimen. So today we're talking about what progress I've really made over the last two weeks. So about two weeks ago, I weighed myself in at 222. And as of this morning, I was 213 and 6 pounds. Now, that's pretty dramatic. I usually don't experience that with my clients. That's almost a 9 pound difference in two weeks. But I hadn't really been eating too well prior to that. Anyway, a lot of that I would attribute to inflammation, not so much fat loss. But needless to say, I'm pretty happy. So let's lay down some more ground rules. Diet first, and then we'll get to the exercise next. Number one, no polyunsaturated fats, or PUFAs. They suppress your immune system and they mess with your ability to process sugar. Number two, no fiber. That means beans, nuts. The stuff's just too harmful on your gut, and you have to give your insides a chance to heal. Number three, eat plenty of lean protein, including red meat, lamb, fish, shellfish, eggs, chicken, turkey, and sometimes even pork. But there is a little trick to that last one. Number four, consume a steady flow of carbohydrates throughout the day from juicy fruits, fruit juice, and yes, even sugar. Yeah, I said it. Let me say it again. I'll do it. Sugar. Sugar. And rule five, stick to saturated fats cooking with coconut oil and butter. So that's pretty basic enough diet-wise. So let's take a look at my journal, shall we? Saturday. Woke up 6.45, ended up having two eggs, cooked in a tablespoon of coconut oil, six ounces of orange juice, cup of coffee with two tablespoons of sugar, and I had my supplements along with it. 11 o'clock rolls around, and I had some melon, coffee, two pieces of string cheese, and a little bit of chocolate. Yeah, that can be allowed too. Around five o'clock, I went to Weira Thai down on Sahara Ave. And if you live in Las Vegas and you like Thai food, or if you're not sure if you like Thai food yet, you gotta go check out Weira Thai. What I had there looked a little something like this. That's shrimp, mussel, and squid tossed in shallot and onions. Mmm. Thai style. And then around 7.30 at night, I had a serving of haagen ice cream. Now let's move on to the training. In terms of exercise, absolutely no treadmills, no steppers, no stair masters, no ellipticals. The stuff's just bad for you. The only machines that you can find in a gym that are allowed are ones that do not simulate human locomotion. So that'll limit you to bikes and rowers, maybe even a sci-fit. You know, one of those things. I go into that a little bit more, and you can check that out in another link that I provided down below in the description. Go ahead and click that link. I think you're going to like it. This week I stuck to the basics. Squats, pull-ups, bench, rows, and some rotational exercises for the app. I weight trained on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on the off days I would do things like mobility drills and maybe even some body weight exercises here and there in no particular order. Every day is an opportunity to get good or bad reps in. Every time you put food in your mouth, it's one repetition and practice of a new dieting habit. So don't be so hard on yourself if you just fall off for one meal. It's really not that big of a deal. Just make sure that the good reps outweigh the bad. So there's one more thing I'm going to leave you with today. My chef buddy Anthony and I are going to be putting recipes together in accordance with my rules and his creative culinary genius. And we'll give you one menu item a week to start collecting in your own. And then we'd love to hear what you think about it. So my question to you this week is pretty simple. What exercise do you absolutely hate and why? We all have one. So please click and comment down below because I want to hear it. Next week I'll update you on my progress and we'll see how things are going with you too. So get to work. I want to know how you guys do. And that's it for this week's episode. So you can check us out on our website or maybe even our Facebook page where you can find more cool tips, videos, and all of our bloggy stuff. My name's Peter Pinto. This is the Fit Labs Las Vegas, and I'll see you next week. Get in the lab.